Hi everyone. Voting is starting here in Canada. In about a couple of weeks or in a couple of days, depending on when you're watching it, we're going to have a federal elections. Most of you might be discouraged and say, you know what, I don't know who I'm going to vote for. What's the point? It might not make any difference. I'm telling you there is a point to it. There is a power to it. Come with me to Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Do, be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows. That shall he also reap. So God says, whatever we sow is what we reap. I want to tell you today that your vote is a seed. See here, I have a seed that is from Korah. And it's a vegetable that's green. But the seed alone is not, is not green at all. The seed is very black. It's tiny. But the fruit of it is that when you plant this, into the soil you go into the soil and you actually plant it in here and, and you put some soil in water it let the sun come and take care of it the it comes to a beautiful vegetable like this it's very common in Sri Lanka and in Asian cultures or West Indians they love this fruit and it's also very healthy for you but this and this is not you don't see that how this little little tiny um, seed can come out with this beautiful greenish looking vegetable but that's what I want to talk about today is that your seed is your your vote is your seed because as you pray over your vote as you meditate and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you you go to vote by how the Holy Spirit is impressed in you according to God's Word and according to God's will and as you vote according to his will there's power being released on that and after you re uh, put your vote in your job as a believer has been done because you live in a country that is free and that is giving you the authority to be able to speak into it so when you take that vote and when you put it into that ballot and you do it with all faith you are actually aligning and partnering with God and many other people that God is impressing in and how to vote but if you choose not to vote you are actually restricting God to be able to move in your life to be part of that big miracle work because you know what when Moses decided to separate the Red Sea Moses what did he have to do he had to look unto God and say what am I going to do I have all these Israelites and I have the army coming forth I am stuck then Moses had to take that stick and proclaim God's power in order for the Red Sea to be parted Peter wanted to walk to where Jesus was and God said come Jesus had to step out of that water and make that first step and walk on that water and that's how he, he walked on water so you have to take that step of faith and vote with faith and know that the creator himself is still in control and he will let his power happen. So I encourage you, if you are not sure what to do in this voting time, I encourage you to get out there, meditate on God's word, pray about it and let the Holy Spirit guide you on who to vote for. And we will see the country that you vote for be free and God will happen in that country. Thank you.